Like you can never let anyone get too close. Like every time you walk down a grocery aisle <laughs> and like some guy looks kind of sketchy, like you could be like, <laughs> I'm just getting to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, bro. <laughs> Nah, bro. Nah, yeah, come what? on. Too drunk. What? Too drunk. Keep no, going. I'm, Keep going. I know, uh, Kenny. Yeah. No. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go in there. I'm just. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in there. Get your fucking hands off me. Do you know who my dad is? Yeah, dude. Guys taking. Guys trying to get black belts in situational awareness and don't know how to throw a punch. Yeah. Now, a reactionary gap is a real thing. That's a real tool that police and security and military and anyone who knows a little bit about self-defense use. Reactionary gap, generally we get about six feet. So if you hold your arm up and I hold my arm up, this distance, if he wants to come at me or do anything, he has to like telegraph. I see it, I'll see it coming and I can react and do whatever my plan is for that. That's a real thing, but you don't always have that choice. Sometimes dudes get close. Sometimes you have to talk to people close and it's not quite a fight yet. This is not the sexiest how to disable a, you know, a drunk or like devastating ballroom brawl bouncer tactics. It's not cool. It's not hot. It's not hip or sexy, but this is real shit to like keep you out of trouble. Jay did the first thing that everyone does when someone walks up on them. They do this like, yo dude, keeping you at arm's length. Yep. The biggest problem with this is this can escalate things. And it doesn't actually protect me. It doesn't stop him from punching me, right? If he wants to like pop this arm out of the way and like, you know, uh, move to a body lock or take down or whatever, it actually doesn't help. This doesn't do anything. You'll see police use what they call interview stance, which is you'll see them, they stand like this. They just have their hands above their waist. And what that does is if your hands are down there and you have to react to me punching you, right? Your hands have further to come. If your hands start above your waist, right? And then the punch comes, it's, it seems like milliseconds, it's milliseconds, but we're talking about a punch, yeah. a punch to the face happens in fractions of a second. Mm -hmm. In close, not only would I look like a tremendous dork right here like <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. but that, that, that's not Still really, <laughs> yeah, that's not really good enough. One that I like a little better in close, it looks more casual. I did not invent this. Um, you see it other places is I'll do one hand like this and then one hand like here and I'll like play with my beard or like play with my lip. Or I'll get a boogie and I'll put that on him. Maybe that makes him go away. <laughs> but if my hands are here and then he goes to swing or whatever, my hands can come up quicker from here without looking. And this looks non-confrontational. This yeah. looks like real relaxed, real cool. Uh -huh. I'm not like, yeah, you show me your ID. Yeah. I much preferred when I, when I was working in clubs and stuff like that, or as a police officer where it was someone that I was not quite ready to arrest. I much prefer to do it from the side. If I can come up beside the person, right? and either do back of the hand here, or just like this, this right here. Believe it or not, this, this seems like, oh, I'm giving away that I'm here, right? But this is, that's okay. We don't wanna startle him. Again, keyboard commandos, we're not talking about a person that we're already fighting. We're talking about people that actually have to do violence for a living. They are not trying to get into a knockdown drag out fight every night. If I come up behind him and I let him know that I'm here, I get information. If I'm like this, what they'll generally do, like put your hand here, like you're trying to stop me from here. If they feel like this, they'll try to turn mm -hmm. into you. You have control. This is a boxing move. Yeah. You know, we boom. Well, that was, push when you like did that. that, that was my reaction. Yeah, the, they do like this. Yeah. And then when they figure out that they can't do that, they go like this, yeah. which cool, right? And then if I make a big move, right? Now, you know, yeah. get ready. If, because if I turn back to you, now we're possibly fighting. Okay. I'll give you my biggest secret. Here's me being tiny and like trying to bounce it places, which was a ridiculous you know, notion to begin with. This is what I always did. Say you had a problem with that motherfucker over there. You know what I did? I'd walk up and I'd go, yo, man. Fuck, this guy's a problem, man. <laughs> I look around there. Dude, and these guys like, give me a hard time? Dude, let's just, just get out of here, man. Let's get out of here. And I go like this. If he decides he wants to fight me, he has to make a big move, mm -hmm. right? He has, to, he has to give me all kinds of information. And then I can go into like, attack mode or yeah. whatever it is that you guys think that you're doing down there condition <laughs> orange now if a guy does go to put his hands on you and it's time to disable him you do this in the most efficient way possible whether it's punching kicking kneeing takedown submissions or whatever it is that you use to stop people from hurting you 
that's what you use. But if you are a bouncer, security guard, police officer, prison guard, or something like that, there are situations where it gets choppy, but it's not quite like, like there's paperwork involved. Mm -hmm. Like if you knock someone's teeth out of their head, yep. your boss is going to ask you questions. Why is every time someone like looks at you funny? <laughs> They're missing teeth. <laughs> yeah. It gets old. Yeah. If you are forced to be in close and you've adopted your good casual interview stance and someone does start putting their hands on you and not, I don't mean, yeah, like picking at you, you know, like, you know, this sort of shit, mm -hmm. you can be... A, a mongoloid and as soon as they touch you think oh shit all bets are off fucking pride rules motherfucker <laughs> boom you know what i mean yeah like you could yeah. but it's not they start talking and doing right you're like all right here's what you do unless you're ready to fight if you're ready to fight go do your thing right but what you want to maintain is as their hands come up and are around you your hands just inside theirs generally if my hands are inside his then at the moment that he decides to go nuts, right? Right, I have, oh look, you're trying to already get inside position. He's had a couple lessons. <laughs> if my hands go inside his, I generally have control. If my hands are on his biceps and he tries to punch, grab, or control me, I have a little bit of time and space, right? If my hands are on the outside, he has a little more control over me. He can, as the Kung Fu nerds say, take my center, <laughs> right? He can take my center yep. and kazushi me somewhere or whatever. I'll take your center. Yeah, no. <laughs> the inside, you have more options. If I get my hands here and I give him my best, like most compassionate look, I'm like, dude, no, chill, like chill, man, chill. We're good, dude. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. And I, I'm giving him like this rather than like immediately like fucking, fucking, right, fucking, <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> right? It doesn't always have to be that. If I could just get inside position, you can put your hands on me any kind of way. If I get my hands in here, I'm like, whoa, whoa, chill, 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 chill. And he keeps wanting to punch and grab or whatever. I have more options for whatever I want to do. Now, you want to try the outro? Y'all haven't seen Jay in a while. People have been complaining he's not been around. Nope. Go ahead, try it. Go ahead, hey, 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 try it, man. Just try it. Just For more gear reviews. <laughs> Cause that's the most important thing we do. For fitness tips, self-defense concepts.